How's it going guys? I wanted to take a few minutes in this video to talk about something that some of you guys will run into here shortly uh, with some changes to Microsoft and how it's going to affect working on some of the older Intu devices. Uh, as many of you already know, Microsoft is going to stop supporting Windows 7. Uh, the Windows 7 machines, uh, you know, they're, they're still going to be out there, but Microsoft's not going to be pushing out a lot of the updates and that sort of thing. And one of the challenges that is going to happen for some of you, uh, depending on the institutions that you work for, uh, like where I work, when Microsoft makes that change, those computers are going to be banned from the network. And along with that, some of the software that is used on them, we're going to have to find another way of running it. And I've been working recently on trying to develop a plan on what we're going to be doing. We've been working with our IT as well as with Johnson Controls. And I want to take a few minutes to tell you guys what some of that process is, uh, what some of the things that they have been telling us that we need to do is. The first recommendation, of course, is going to be to upgrade. And I know, as well as you know, that's not always an option. If you've got hundreds of these controllers out there, then you're not going to necessarily be able to upgrade them all at once. And if they're still out there, they're still functioning. In general, you're not going to upgrade until you have a failure. But you need to start planning. Now, the older software, HVAC Pro, the GX9100, things like that, running on a 32-bit machine. It will run on a Windows 10 32-bit machine. However, you may not be able to run some of the other software that's out there. You may actually have to end up having a couple of machines to be able to run all the software you need. Uh, a challenge that I have had with mine by doing that is I, I do not have the pass-through capability anymore. Uh, there's things that can be changed, things that can be done to, that can kind of help but I've really not had much luck with it. Another option is to run a Windows 64-bit machine and then run an emulator. There's different emulators out there that, that emulate some of the older operating systems, and uh, unfortunately, some institutions do not support that. Uh, our IT department, for example, they do not support that. Uh, it is possible to replace a lot of the older legacy controllers, the Intu devices, with newer generation controllers, and they can talk on the Intu network. However, it's something you need to be aware of, depending on the version of Metasys that you have, depending on the firmware version that is in some of those older devices on your network, I can tell you from experience, you can have some conflicts with some of those. Uh, we had several devices in an older building. Uh, well, not really an older building, but we had a lot of the older devices in one building that uh, caused issues when we put some of the newer devices, the backnet devices, made to talk into on the same network. We ended up actually having to separate the network and go through that way to be able to get those to talk. They just It was overloading the Intu trunk and they just would not talk correctly. So again, we just set up a separate network and m made it that way. Just put another NCE in, uh, set up a backnet device, uh, set it up as a backnet device and ran them that way. That was one way that we overcame that. But I wanted you guys to be aware of it. Uh, you still can find some of these older devices out there on the market. In fact, down in the description, I am going to put some links to where you can pick up some UNTs, some of the older VMAs, and a few of the N2 devices, literally from Amazon. Uh, you know, just if any of you guys are still wanting to maintain some of those older devices, if you just want to go with a direct replacement, you can still do that. You can still find those devices. It's just getting harder to find. They're also, uh, in many cases, it's cheaper to buy a newer device than it is to send one of the older devices for repair. That's just the realities of technology. But guys, it's just a quick video that I wanted to do. Let me hear from you. Uh, do you struggle now currently with trying to upgrade some of the older devices, the older Intu devices with the newer controllers. Are you guys running into that? Uh, just let me hear from you. I'd like to know. I know that it's happening with us. 
I'm just curious how many of you guys out there are facing the same type of thing. But guys, thanks for watching the video. Again, check out the links down in the description where you can find some of those controllers, uh, some of the tools that I use regularly. Thanks for watching. Let me hear from you, and we'll see you next time.